Kia ora tātou. Ia ku mātua, ia ku kōka. Rauranga tira mā, kei te whaia tari. Taku pāpā, Mason. Mā ko whata kei he koe. Koe anō kotau, lēn, whetu, koutou rauranga tira mā, tēnei āhau me hatu nei kia kotau. Tēnā kote katoa. I need to put what I'm going to talk about in context. Uh, there have been some really awesome co I've spoken about this morning, and on the mihi to all the speakers. Um, I particularly want to mihi to uh, Leland and Moana in terms of their mahi. Te rā pēki mahi. Kei te whai e rāua o tire ratau, oranga tamariki. Uh, given the size and the enormity of that role, I just want to mihi to them and the way that they've brought uh, te ruhanga Māori, whakaaro Māori in their process. Um, I'm going to come from a bit of a different angle. Um, I'm going to provide some Māori feedback and reflections on Treasury's Living Standards Framework, uh, which is really a mainstream framework. But what I'm going to try to do is uh, introduce, based upon feedback I've heard from Māori, a way to whaka Māori te rā kaupapa. And I think for a number of us in state organisations, uh, we have to find ways to do that. It's not as simple as starting from scratch. So, um, Tautaku Papa Ngati Pro, Tautaku Mama, Tufari Toraukawa, Tina Yaho, and Miha Tuneka Koto, Tina Koto. Living Standards Framework, people ask me what is it, and I go, well, the closest thing that I see that it's similar to is De Bono's Six Hats. Now, hands up if you've used De Bono's Six Hats Framework. So, in a nutshell, De Bono's Framework is a way of thinking about a problem. And then the hats and the colours are domains or ideas or concepts. And if you had six people and you had a kaupapa in the middle, they'd each kind of take turns at saying a whakaaro or their thoughts based upon what uh, hat they represent or what kaupapa they represent. So it's actually a thinking framework. Yeah, It's a way of walk working or walking through problems. And what I like about the Bono's framework is that while it does focus on data and facts and info, and you look at risks, issues, benefits, opportunities, there's also something about there about creativity. And uh, I think it would be fair to say that in the last three or four years I've been in the public sector, the best thing that's come through that I've seen is people who are being creative, that we need to move beyond the data, that we need to find ways to work in the experiences and we probably need to create new solutions and be creative uh, in our way of doing that, uh, our approach to it. And just on that, I mean, um, I think that's where listening to Uncle Mason and Uncle Fata talking about their drinking in Canada or whatever they were doing, talking about, you know, 25 year strategies or 50 year strategies for various iwi, you can see that their creativity is part of who we are. It is within us, it's in our DNA. Whether it's the Maui thing, the whatever the thing is, there's something in us. So I just want to raise that, because although working at Treasury, and now I'm doing some stuff at SIU, data's important, uh, qualitative information's important, and it's how we apply a bit of creativity in terms of coming up with new answers. I think that's, that's the trick. And the Living Standards Framework's one of those. Um, this is it, it's got five points, growth, sustainability, equity, social cohesion, risks, and in the middle are the capitals. Now, I just want to say this is a thinking framework. It's a tool, OK? It's not a shake and bake and you get the answers, just like the bono. Uh, we, somebody talked about before about, you know, what do we do in various situations? And I think the challenge we have is that I think we've got the energy. I can see we've got the passion. Uh, we've got some data. We've got some qualitative information but we really need to find ways to think our way through these problems because we've also got people who want to do the actions, eh? So I see no shortage in all those things, and what I want to do is offer a particular way of thinking through problems that may be helpful, or it may not. Kaya So in terms of the capitals, I've got to pay homage to the organisation that I work for in terms of Treasury. At its heart, you know, Treasury is an economic institution, and in terms of the way economists see the world capitals or fundamental resources are at the core. So lots of people think about financial and physical capital as the be-all and end-all, but that's actually not true. 
There are a number of other capitals. Social capital is really important. So that's about relationships, it's about institutions. Um, human capital, the skills we have. Natural capital, the environment. So uh, in terms of the living standards framework, this is a set of ideas that you do want to think about when you're going through problems. And then I think Len talked about the whole uh, fact that you know you look at uh, maybe the situation or the time. So in terms of key concepts, um, economics is about policy, but it's about our interventions, about GDP production, it's about a whole range of things. It's not just money. Same with sustainability, it's not just nature. You can also think about kunga mukupuna. We can think about our awa. We can think about a range of things. And as I say these things to you all, this is the feedback I've had from Māori in terms of how do we whaka Māori tēnei kaupapa. Uh, same with risks or thinking about the challenges we have to face. Um, risk management, obviously it's been a, 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 something we need to think about. A, a set of questions we may have, social, whānau, community, and then equity in terms of you know, where do things, um, who benefits the most or who's at risk and how do we think about these things. So in terms of using it, I just want to put it out there. The Living Standards Framework is just like the De Bono Six Hats. You get a group of people, you have your set of issues or your, that you're trying to solve, but you try to kind of work around your circle of people and people become the kaitiaki or the kaipupuri or the holders of a particular set of questions or set of issues, and you just work through the process, the wānanga process, and you try to come up with options or ideas about how to go forward. Now, I want to move quickly to the Māori feedback. Uh, over the past two years, um, I've had a number of opportunities to go out and speak to Māori communities, Māori individuals, and have wānanga and say, what are the issues that are important to people and what do people think about this particular framework? So the feedback I've had is, well, Treasury is taking a holistic look at issues. I thought you guys just looked at the money. Uh, about time you caught up. So, uh, you know, it's a strong whakaoro from Māori. Māori are holistic. We're used to seeing the big picture. Uh, the other thing, people say, well, where are we in this? That doesn't look like us, Atafai. That looks like somebody else. Those aren't, those aren't our kaupapa. And, you know, heredi ki o mātou whaing a pātai kaupapa hoki. So we'd ask different questions. We'd focus on different things we wouldn't have the economy at the top. Um, a bit of a challenge here, some people say culture is a key capital, and other people say culture is in everything. Culture is in environment, culture is in equity, culture is in managing risks, how we manage risks, culture is in everything. So, you know, that's a whakaura that's come up from people, and also where's the treaty? So uh, that's been a, a key piece of feedback. We've had a number of other issues that people have raised, but. By and large, those are the key issues that people have raised with us. Uh, I'm almost at the end, but one of the things we've been impressed with is the Ruapehu Whānau Transformation Framework. We go around the motu and we see people, and Māori are framework people. I've seen a large number of frameworks. Uh, the Whakatupuranga 2050, uh, I, I was at a hui last week, a whānau order hui. They were talking about their goals, their aspirations, the things that they hold important to themselves, and also thinking about measures. Quant and qual. Uh, in Ngāti Pro, they have an outcome measurement, fr measurement framework. There's a number of frameworks that Māori have. And uh, it's been good to get, get out on the road and say, wow, our, our people are starting to think about what's important to us, how might we measure that. Um, I would say, and I su support you, Lynn, there's a bit too much focus on what with the data. Uh, all the qualitative researchers in the room will know. Uh, statistics, they're not the only thing. They are important but there are other ways of getting insight through case studies and other things. So it's how we join those things together, I think, is the trick. And this is the feedback from our people. So this is our framework now, and based upon the thinking from people and the feedback and the corridor, I've been thinking about he tirohanga Māori, so this is a Māori perspective, not the Māori perspective. Okay, listening to our people. So obviously those capitals are in the middle, uh, people are important, nature's important. And I was at a, a, a land hui two weeks ago and I was reminded by an uncle, Atafai, money's not the main thing, but it is a thing. It is a thing. Um, so still thinking about um, the risks, the economy, equity, um, social 
uh, social cohesion, uh, but maybe putting sustainability up the top. This is a key piece of feedback from people. The treaty, it's got to be in there somewhere. So a form of partnership capital. I think that's a key thing that Māori talk about. And finally, putting it in a, a frame that is ours. So, kura noi hoi hikama. Mehe me he whakaaro he pātaua koutou. I'm going to be available afterwards if you want to have a talk about this. Feel free to come and have a talk to me. Ane taku i mera. Mauri ori koutou.